Hello everyone, Charlie here. And in this video, I'd like to talk some more about top surgery. Okay. In this video, I'd like to cover um, preparing ahead of time for your surgery. Okay. So that you don't um, have a lot of stuff to do or to put on the person that's helping to take care of you. Okay. Once you are done. You're not going to feel great after your surgery. That first week, you're going to need a lot of help. The second week, you're still going to need quite a bit of help. You'll be up and around and doing stuff and all that, but anything that's above five pounds, you're going to need some help with, okay? Um, I have a hard time with that. I don't like to ask for help ever. I really, really don't. Um, it's a last resort thing, um, and that's regarding really anything in my life. I don't like to ask for help. With something like this, you just have to suck it up and you need to ask for help because you need to take care of yourself, okay? You want this to be a good healing experience. And if you have someone that you trust um, and that can be there for you, that's the person to choose, okay? Or people. You can have multiple people help you depending on your, your living situation, depending on if you're with somebody or not or whatever, okay? It's going to be different for everybody. But you want to make sure that you don't, you know, ask somebody that you really don't like to help you. <laughs> because this should be an enlightening experience. This should be a transformation for you. This is your biggest transformation. You know, at least personally, I feel it was my biggest part of this transformation. Okay. I used to go to bed every single night when I was younger and I would pray. If there is a God, I mean, I, I do believe in God and I am... Um, what you, I guess, would call Christian Buddhist, <laughs> okay? I like things from both religions, okay? I even like some other religions, you know, different different aspects, different things, whatever. Um, but that's, you know, that's what I am. I grew up in a family that was strictly Christian, and this type of thing is, is not normal, okay, for them. This... Um, my, actually, actually, my immediate family didn't even know that I was getting this, okay? The family that I, I guess, grew up with <laughs> didn't even know anything about this. They still don't, okay? Um, on my dad's side, uh, quite a few people do because of social media, <laughs> which is kind of cool, and they're all supportive of it. The other side of my family, um, you know, does not, and that's okay. Um... But either way, I would go to bed every single night and I would say, if there really is a God, please, please let me wake up a man. Let me just wake up a man. That's all I want, you know? And um, I, I, would, I would do all kinds of things. I would wish at every birthday on the candles. I would go look for, for four-leaf clovers, um, you know, for luck. I would, you know... God, there were all kinds of things I did. Every, you know, wish upon a star, all of it. I just want to be a man, you know. And my idea of a man has always been that man chest. You know, that that's the biggest part of it. And, you know, um, it just, just the way you dress, the way you look, the way you talk, different things like that, your mannerisms. Um, I just wanted to be a man. That was it, you know. And it never happened. And I, it, it didn't deter my faith or anything like that, but it it was just something, that was my thing, that was my one thing, you know, and I had no control over it, and I, it, it just ate away at me for a really long time, you know, and I, I didn't have anybody to talk to about that, so it ate away at me even more, and it made me depressed, and it made me, it made me go into self-harm, and, you know, things like that, and that's not something you want to do, you know, you want to take care of yourself, so, um, for me, this was the biggest part of my transition, and it has been the most emotional part of my transition, uh, there were a couple times, actually, that, um, I just started crying, and I, like, there were little things that kind of set it off, but, like, just through this healing, like, I just, I, I'm, I'm so happy, you know, I'm, I'm, 
I can't believe it. I have stand in front of the mirror all the time. And even with, you know, a couple complications that I did experience, you know, and even though the right side looks a little wonky because of it, um, it, it, I just, I, I can't stop, you know, like looking at it. I, I, this is what I've always wanted, you know. I'm going to be 30 in a few months, and I just, it's, it's amazing. It's amazing. This whole thing is amazing. So, um, what I was getting at, it was like kind of a long rant, but this for me was the biggest part. And you, you want to share this with people that you respect and that you love and that you care about and they feel the same way about you, okay? Um, because it's, it's just an amazing experience. Um, another thing for prepping, let's see here, food, food wise, I know I did talk about this a little bit in my last video, you want to make sure that you got some healthy food in your house, you want to make sure for you that you have some things that you can go get, um, so like I said, like cashews, almonds, you know, different things like that, things you can just kind of, you know, get and eat with your hands and you don't have to worry about any weight limit or prepping anything or any of that, okay, definitely have some of that stuff, and have it near you, too, you know, if you're not feeling up and about, really, you know, like, maybe just have a little bowl of something near you, or a little container or something that you already have, um, get some water bottles, uh, we have these blender bottles, you know, and we just fill it with, um, fill it with water, and, uh, make sure you're getting, you're staying hydrated, okay, so definitely, you know, to have that ahead of time as well. Um, you want to have once once after your first week, when when everything kind of comes off, your drains come out. You're still gonna have your stair strips on, but your nipples uh, they'll still be bleeding. Okay, so you're gonna want to have um, back tracing, and that's an ointment that goes on there. You want to have a, a soap that is alcohol-free, okay? Something that's an antibacterial, okay, for when when you shower and things like that. That'll be right in your first week, okay? Anytime you shower, especially around those wounds, you know, like when you go to clean up under your armpits and stuff like that, you probably have to have somebody help you. I had to have somebody help, help me, which was my wife, and... Um, that's what we did. We just used like an antibacterial to, to kind of wash anything in this area. And then we could just use my regular, you know, body wash on the rest of me. Okay. But you don't want to piss it off, you know, they're, but they're open wounds, you know. Um, and then for the, where the drains, once you do get those out, for those and for your nipples, you're going to want to have that back trace. And so you get in the shower, get cleaned up and everything. You want to put that back trace in. You want to have gauze pads. You're going to want to have um, uh, shoot. I can't remember the name of it right now, um, but they're like gauze pads, but they don't stick to you. Okay, so that when after you put that back trace in on those those areas, um, put over the nipples um, the non-sticking. little gauze pads, I, shoot, wish I could remember the name right now, I can't, and then you want a little piece of tape, or two pieces of tape, or whatever, just to, to hold it on there, okay, um, you want to do, I, we did that paper tape, it seemed to work pretty good, um, I did break out a little bit from it, just because it's like, it's every day, you know, and you have to, you have to, um, wash those areas, um, three times a day, and then put back trace in, and then, you know, put new, um, bandages on you there, okay, so, um, you know, make sure you have those things, tape that's good for your skin, for me it was paper tape, back tracing, ointment, um, we went through, we went through a tube of it during the healing process, okay, um, the little non-sticking <laughs> pads, <laughs> um, gauze, 
to go on top of that. The reason you have the gauze on top of those little non-sticky pads is just for the, like, a few days after they take the drains out or um, maybe even a week, um, it just kind of adds that adds a extra protection, okay, so that when you have your compression vest on, if you're still wearing that over it, um, it just kind of has that extra padding, okay. Um, uh, soap. A antibacterial soap that doesn't have any alcohol in it or anything like that. Okay. Um, and then, you know, like I said, some food, some bottles of water, different things like that that you can get up, you can get. Um, having a, a, like a recliner, like we have a little recliner we got from the ReStore, and I have spent most of my time in that, you know, other than when I was up walking around or taking a shower. Um, I just kind of laid back. It was it was more comfortable than a chair because I just can't sit. I I don't know. I like to stand all the time, and um, so you know I I would recommend um, having something you can kind of like lay back a bit. You also have to lay on your back when you're in bed. It doesn't feel very good. If you, it's all right the first couple days, but then. I mean, it maybe it's different for me. I'm a very active person. I like to stretch multiple times a day, different things like that. This all kind of hinders that. So, um, and I was also in a really bad car wreck. So I just, I already have issues with multiple areas of my body. So, um, it just, it hurt. And then it was making me not sleep because it, you know, it was just constant, like, pain in my back, you know. Um, I also don't lay on my back that much. I, I mean, I guess... About half the time I do, but then I switch to my sides, and you don't really do that after the surgery, um, or at least, I don't know, I didn't, <laughs> um, didn't feel too hot, um, oh, loose shirts, you want to have some, some big shirts, okay, um, nothing tight, because you've got multiple layers of crap on you, and you're already hurt, and you don't want anything tight, so, um, I didn't really have very many, um, I mean, I've got baggy clothes, but, like, you know, it, this is, this is a baggy shirt, but this wouldn't have worked over everything I had under it, you know, like, it still would have been kind of a tight shirt, so, you know, um, even if you have to go to Goodwill or something, just get some big sleeping shirts, you know, comfortable pants, you know, things like that, um, you're just kind of lounging for a bit, so, um, Definitely get some of that. You know, I guess get some of those things like that. Um, before your surgery, shave your armpits. Highly, highly recommend it. I'm gonna do a video just on that. That was one of my like most annoying parts because they have those drains on there, and it's it's like right in there, and it was right in the hair and everything. Well, it gets blood built up, okay, even even when you wash it every day, a couple times a day, doesn't matter, it still builds up, okay, and it gets wrapped up in your hair, and it hurts like a bitch, especially when you go to move certain ways, and it's hard, like if you go to lift your arms and stuff, no, man, <laughs> shave your armpits before you get the surgery, <laughs> um, that's something I been, if I would have even thought about that, I would have done it, and, um, but I really didn't, you know, I, my thought was that the drains were going to be lower, you know, I didn't think they were going to be right up in there, so, um, I highly, highly recommend that, um, and it makes it hard for the person that's, that's cleaning you too, you know, because it's just one extra thing <laughs> to, to have to get up in there, and, um, you can't wear deodorant and stuff at this time, so, like, even though you're washing multiple times a day, you like you can, you stink because you've got blood built up that keeps coming and stuff. So, like, definitely do that. <laughs> um, I think that's about it. I am gonna cover a couple other things though in some of my, my other videos. Um, that being one in particular, but um, I will talk to you guys soon. Okay.